His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 79 of 2023 amending some provisions of the Executive Regulation of the Civil Service Bureau law issued by Decree Law 48 of 2010 and promulgated by Edict 51 of 2012 based on a proposal by the CSB. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 80 for the year 2023 amending some provisions of the regulations for determining salaries and job benefits and regulations for employees subject to the civil service law issued by Edict 66 of 2013 based on a proposal by the Civil Service Bureau. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 81 for the year 2023, amending Article 2 of Edict 56 of 2022 on issuing regulatory requirements for construction in various regions in the Kingdom of Bahrain based on the proposal of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and following the approval of the Cabinet. The chairman of the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the Bahrain Horse Race Cup, which was held at the Irish Leopardstown Race Course as part of the Royal Bahrain Irish Champion Stakes, held for the second year in a row. His Highness Sheikh Isa has affirmed the efforts continue to strengthen Bahrain's position on the international horse racing map pointing to the development objectives aimed at setting the horse racing sector at an advanced levels. His Highness has expressed appreciation for the support which the horse racing sector receives from His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness has stressed Bahrain's pioneering role in supporting the horse racing sector at the international level, which reflects positively on the contributions that the Kingdom attracts and the expertise it acquires in terms of preparation and organization. His Highness has pointed out that the race held on the Irish Leopardstown race course has developed the strategies of the club by upgrading the classification of the races that it hosts as the race is within the first international classification and witnesses strong competition as well as the follow-up and presence of owners and trainers from around the world. His Highness added that the race is an extension of the close relations of cooperation between Bahrain and Ireland in various fields including equestrian and horse racing cl clubs. His Highness has expressed appreciation for the efforts of those in charge of organizing the race which establishes more cooperation between the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and the Leopardstown Racecourse. The death toll from the earthquake that struck Morocco has increased to more than 2,000 as survivors continue to spend the night in the open on the high Atlas Mountains after the country's deadliest earthquake in more than six decades. The Moroccan Interior Ministry said 2,012 people have been killed, 2,059 injured, including 1,404 in critical condition. Moroccan media reported that there was a major mobilization in the health institutions and calls for blood donations to relieve the earthquake victims. A state of uncertainty has prevailed over many people in the city of Marrakesh as they express their concern about the occurrence of aftershocks in the coming hours or days. The U.S. Geological Survey said the devastating earthquake had a magnitude of 6.8 on the Richter scale with an epicenter some 72 kilometers southwest of Marrakesh. Meanwhile, the Moroccan monarch, King Mohammed VI, has directed Moroccan authorities to strengthen search, rescue and relief operations and also ordered the necessary means to speed up the rescue and evacuation of the wounded. After an initial emergency assessment of the measures taken, the King of Morocco called for an intensification of efforts in view of the magnitude of the strongest earthquake in the history of Morocco. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, met with the Egyptian Minister of Awqaf, 
Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Juma in Cairo. Sheikh Abd Rahman praised the depth and the development of brotherly relations between Bahrain and Egypt in light of the visions of His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt. He expressed appreciation for Egypt's pioneering efforts and endeavors in supporting Arab and Islamic causes. He also congratulated the Minister on the success of the 34th International Conference of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, which witnessed wide international participation. For his part, the minister expressed appreciation for Sheikh Abdurrahman's participation in the conference, expressing pride in the close relations with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. He stressed that the mutual visits between officials of the two countries strengthen cooperation frameworks and integration, as well as promote joint efforts in the service of Islam and Muslims. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, has chaired the 17th meeting of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Council. The minister has praised the pivotal role of SMEs in growing the national economy, noting the government's full support of the sector. The meeting also included a presentation reviewing the council's performance indicators for the year 2022 up to 2026, followed by a review of the updated target values. Council members also reviewed the developments and achievements of a number of initiatives under progress as part of the council's strategic work plan. For their part, Tamkeen briefed the council on the Start Up Bahrain Rounds initiative, which supports Bahraini startups with potential to grow and expand by presenting their entrepreneurial ideas to investors for funding and investment. In conclusion, Minister Fakhro expressed appreciation for the efforts of the members in developing the SME's sector and enhancing its contribution to the national economy. The Chief Executive Officer of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, has announced the Kingdom's participation in Cityscape Global, which will take place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom's delegation to Cityscape Global comprises representatives of the public and private sectors. Bahrain's participation in the global event is part of its strategy to attract major developers and investors, as well as exchange regional and international experiences in line with the National Real Estate Sector Plan 2021-2024. Cityscape Global also provides an opportunity to promote the government land investment platform, which is an initiative aimed at facilitating commercial procedures and increasing their effectiveness within the economic recovery plan. Bahrain's participation in the global exhibition is in line with its keenness to bolster its real estate cooperation with Saudi Arabia. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry hosted the 134th session of the Union of Arab Chambers and the 62nd meeting of the Federation of the GCC Chambers of Commerce and Industry. The GCC Secretary General, Jasim al Abdewi, participated in the 62nd meeting of the Chambers of GCC, chaired by the President of the Federation and Chairman of the Federation of the Saudi Chambers, Hussein al Hueza. The meeting was attended by the President of the Union of Arab Chambers and Chairman of Bahrain, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, and with the participation of the heads of Gulf Chambers. The GCC Secretary General has affirmed that the private sector is one of the most important basic pillars in ensuring a substantial and sustainable Gulf economy. He expressed aspirations for the continuation and increase of cooperation and integration between the GCC General Secretariat and the Gulf private sector to address the challenges and obstacles facing the Gulf private sector. Government hospitals revealed the steady increase of surgeries performed at Salmania Medical Complex, an amounting to 45% compared to previous years as part of the plan to reduce waiting lists. The Chief Executive Officer of Government Hospitals, Dr. Ahmed Al Ansari, stated that the Operations Department at Salmania Medical Complex has performed 2,144 surgeries in August 2023 compared to 1,470 surgeries in August of 2021. He noted that the operations included 14 medical specialities in the Salmania Medical Complex hospitals.
The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, has revealed the volume of registration applications in the Labour Registration Centres, which reached 26,000 25,000 applications during the first half of this year. The increase affirms the importance of the system that was recently launched to correct the legal conditions of workers and preserve the stability of the labor market. The authority indicated that 25,000 applications were received during the first half of the year and about 19,000 applications were accepted. The domestic worker statistics revealed that during the first half of the year, 12,000 applications were submitted, of which 11,000 were accepted. The labor registration system is an innovative system that manages irregular labor in Bahrain in partnership with the private sector. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud held a series of meetings on the sideline of the G20 summit. Prince Mohammed bin Salman met with the Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan in the presence of the delegation accompanying the two leaders. The Saudi Crown Prince also met with the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina Wajid, and the accompanying delegations as part of the series of meetings. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed also met with the President of the Argentine Republic. He also met with the President of Brazil on the sideline of the summit. The G20 summit in India resumed talks which was held on the closing day of the summit. The third working session of the roundtable was held under the theme One Future, which discussed specific terms on how to deal with the issues such as reforms of development banks and international financial organizations. The summit came to a close after India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi handed over the gavelin to the G20 presidency to Brazilian President Lula da Silva, whose country will host the next summit in 2024. The summit also admitted the African Union, which includes around 55 member states, as a permanent member of the G20, underlining the bloc's uh, inclusivity of more developing countries. The United Arab Emirates launched a comprehensive package of exceptional programs aimed at strengthening the global efforts in addressing climate challenges and invasive species through which it seeks to find and create sustainable initiatives to build a better future for humanity. The UAE has adopted a five-year strategy and action plan for invasive species with the aim of confronting the repercussions of climate change and environmental degradation. The UAE's comprehensive package defines invasive species as alien or non-native species of plants, animals, and microorganisms whose introduction or spread poses a threat to the country's biodiversity. The introduction and spread of these species is considered a major threat to natural ecosystems, leading to biodiversity loss and accelerating environmental degradation worldwide, as well as affecting the environment, economy, and society, including human health. 